What is going on ladies and gents, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video and today we're talking about some more Black Ops 4 of course, I say this every video, but Treyarch has dropped the bombshell, they released a full blog on Reddit talking about the changes that's going to be coming to Black Ops 4 when the game globally launches. It's a lot of stuff that we can go over in this video, but I'm just going to bring down, you know, some of the things that I like in this blog post and some of the things that you can take and say okay this is pretty good you know stuff like that so we're gonna be talking about body armor fog of war uh loadouts and kill cams there's a lot of things in this damn blog post that they released which is actually good it's just a big ass you know recap of the multiplayer beta they released a couple throughout the weeks you know of week one and week two and then but this one is just the overall you know shell of the whole game this is what we're working on and stuff like that and plus we got some new information about gamescom you know there's gonna be 11 maps in the game there's gonna be a new map showcased at gamescom because people get to play the game you know on the showroom floor so that's gonna be very fun to see and then of course we got battlefield's big big trailer like i said i'm, I'm a huge i'm a huge guy with world war ii but when battlefield released that trailer and then we seen the battle royale it was crazy but we're gonna get into this video and I'm gonna see you guys. All right, now we can talk about Black Ops 4, things that they're fixing, changing. A lot of this stuff is very you know it's a lot of main things that a lot of people was worried about you know people was complaining about so basically right here is the fog of war so they're changing everything about it so basically it's gonna be very different in different ways so basically in certain situations situational awareness they're gonna be fixing the flow of the map so for the first bulletin it says the full reveal circle will be removed as default functionality in the standard reveal area will be a cone that reflects the player's field of view this will continue to always be blocked by solid objects in the game so it can never be used to see through walls so everything that i'm reading is going to be in the description you know i'm not going to read the whole thing because it's a lot you know this is like a huge overview of what was going on in the beta but everything will be in the description for you guys that actually want to detail everything but I didn't really have a big problem with the, the fog of war. You know, a lot of people were saying, hey man, I really don't like it. You know, it's it's not good for UAVs and stuff like that. But I find it pretty good. It's different. And you know, it kinda it is kind of dark though. It, it's not too too bright, but in a way, I'm kind of glad it's like that. And then when I see objects on the map, it's very different. Like I could tell if an object coming up, and then I could possibly like try to switch my routes and stuff like that. So I feel like the fog of war did need some adjusting and obviously it's getting what it needs and now we have another one so this right here is about the spawn beacon so they're going to try to shorten the length of the spawn beacon because when you placed it down in the beta it would take too long like it was about 30 to 40 seconds where the spawn beacon can just sit there and nothing will happen so they're going to lengthen the cooldown and they're going to limit the number of spawns per use to 10 so only 10 people can spawn in that spawn beacon 10 times before it completely explodes which is actually pretty good i'm excited about that and i don't know like i found the spawn beacon pretty bad because you know if you're playing domination or you know kill confirmed or or, or whatever whatever game mode it is you're gonna run into somebody that's gonna put the spawn beacon down and as soon as you run around a corner they're gonna be right there, like the full team. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be completely terrible. So I'm glad Treyarch is making an adjustment to the spawn beacon, even though I didn't find too many problems with it. I didn't run into too many like hardcore people that was using it and I will always run into a full team. So I'm glad they're fixing that. It's just certain things that Treyarch is doing to make this game a lot better. Like I said, man, you can't really fault them, man. Like they're trying their hardest to make this game what it needs to be. And I'm down for it. Like, I'm very excited. So, right here, so we have body armor. So we already know that in the second week of the beta, body armor had a huge nerf, right? So this time it's getting even more nerfed and it's getting buffed at the same time. 
So explosives should shred armor that was not working in the beta and we're fixing that. Damage is now reduced by armor rather than being completely deflected by it. Some of the player feedback from the game when fighting against a player with armor was cranked to 11. It made it feel a lot worse than it actually was. So we're reducing it to feel less annoying. We added extra 25 plus bonus per score. So that was in weekend two. Reward for every kill against players with armor to help feed your score streak meter. And then for the last one, we're also experimenting with a number of ideas to better support its role while also making it less appealing to highly aggressive players. For example, impacting certain aspects of movement, speed, or protection coverage areas. So people's not gonna be able to run around a corner, peek, you know, and go back into the corner and peek again and kill you. It's not gonna work like that no more. So I don't know if to call this a buff or a nerf. I feel like it's kind of even a little bit. But I feel like body armor was kind of a crutch thing for a lot of like aggressive players like rushers. So a lot of people was using it. And then, you know, you're running to teams and chaos team deathmatch. That was like a full team of like body armor. So it was like, holy crap. And then you couldn't really kill nobody because everybody was team shotting you. And then you wasn't using body armor. So it was a complete mess. But Treyarch is trying to fix it and make it more balanced, which is absolutely great. And then we got the last one. Free cursor UI navigation, loadouts, and kill cams. So it's not too much stuff to really talk about in this. So basically, they're going to try to fix, you know, the UI a little bit because it was kind of confusing when you was picking your class and, you know, your specialist before you entered the game. And it was kind of confusing when you wanted to switch your gun. So hopefully they can make that a little bit more easier for the casual player. And then we got loadouts and kill cams. So basically, people want to see the loadouts of people that are in kill cams. So if you have a beast ass play, in in the game people want to see what gun you're using what attachments you know what is what is this whole class setup so basically people want that and hey i don't see a big problem with it because a guy might slay me i might be in his kill cam and i want to be like hey what is he using so stuff like that is always fun to see but i can't wait for the full game you know truck is making a lot of decisions they're fixing the game and they see what's wrong and they see what the pro big problems are and they're trying to fix it and they see the community feedback so that was the last big recap that Treyarch is doing until further notice and hopefully blackout we get some trailers for that you know the hype going for that you know the promoting stuff like that hopefully we get some more news about blackout but other than that man this is a long video and i want to let you guys go you know but please like and subscribe and comment ideas below and i'm out man peace